welcome to the upkeep for April 1st, 2019. That's right. All of the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. And this week we have so much magic news, it's going to be a challenge to get it in 10 minutes. That's right. No takes, just what happened. All right. So the biggest thing is Andrea Mangucci is the champion of the Mythic Invitational. That's right. Taking home that $250,000 first bad. prize. Not bad at all. No, that is pretty impressive. And it jumps him up to something like, I think, the fifth highest prize earner in Magic's history. Wonderful job to Andrea Mangucci, the top four as well. Andre Strosky was a competitor competitor there. We Andre got, Strosky, who quit yeah, Magic who quit in Magic 2018. Several <laughs> times, but he keeps coming back on in. Piotr Glavkovsky was also in the top four, and Savic, who was the, the only streamer to make it into the top four, which was pretty cool. Yeah, so the top 16 had eight members of the MPL, two arena qualifiers, and six of the invitees or streamers. I think that's really cool. That's a great mix. Yeah, that's a really solid breakdown. So the event had the most viewers for any magic event of all time. Of course, the biggest prize purse at a million dollars for everything for the whole shebang as well. And it was a pretty cool event to see magic kind of on this enormous stage with so many viewers from page of Twitch uh, lighting up packs literally with pyrotechnics <laughs> as people, you know, came to the stage and that kind of thing. Yeah. Some uh, unfortunate news, Owen was dropped uh, from the event. Owen Turtenwald was dropped by by uh, Wizards of the Coast and replaced with Brian David Marshall, who's awesome. So that was pretty cool. That's right. And while we've had no word from Wizards on the coast of the Coast yet on what caused that to happen, there was an article that came out over the weekend about alleged misconduct on Owen's part. So if you want to read that article, it is available online. Also, some news from Cardboard Live it was the first time Wizards of the Coast had actually used them. So you could click on players' decks when you were watching the stream, which was pretty cool. And you could get the deck list for yourself and that kind of thing, pull up the player profiles. So a really neat integration there. Off of the main stage, but still happening at PAX, Emma Handy won the Mythic Championship Qualifier. Woo! So congrats to her. I cannot believe that it's the first time that she's headed to a Mythic Championship, but it is, which, so that's super incredible. And yeah. congratulations to her. Really awesome story storylines coming out of the main event and then also from people just hanging out in packs being supportive and playing the mcq there which is also pretty cool all right something else big that premiered at pax was the war of the spark trailer that's right the dark horse entry for what is going to make lincoln parks <laughs> career relevant again yeah absolutely if you have not seen it yet it features a very very slow piano rendition of in the end for the first few minutes you'll be like what is this song and then the chorus and you're, hits like, and you're oh, like oh that's right oh now yeah i know it was really well done very emotional showing liliana like having some memories of her and her brother being kind of under the pull of bolus or at least doing what bolus wants with this mm -hmm. army of the undead marching in ravnica and then at the end looking like she's sacrificing herself yeah. to take him down is there a point at which we also we saw like an eternal pull a spark out of Dak yes. Faden, right? And Eternal just harvested Dak's spark. Wow. Br brutal. Sucked it right up. And terrifying. Yeah. It was it was pretty and cool. And Dak looked very sad. Well, I would be too. There's also a whole slew of preview cards, both those from PAX and preview season is now in full swing for War of the Sparks. So you can head over to scryfall.com. They have ongoing updates of all of those preview cards and the sources that they came from. So you can go and look at that original material as well. And it's really cool because this time around every single card from a set is being previewed so not only the cool mythic rares and rares but every little last common is being previewed by somebody that's so. right and maybe one of those commons is a planeswalker because do you know what we've no. seen them at uncommon only uncommon only uncommon yeah. okay it doesn't yeah. go that far down no there is a war of the spark panel at pax and they that's where they confirmed it would be uncommon would be, be the lowest rarity which but i'm personally kind wild. of sad about <laughs> It is wild to see that, though. Oh, yeah, it is weird. It is weird. But, yeah, cool preview cards. Our preview card will be released next Monday. Very cool. All right, so we've got some news about promos coming to your local game store. The buy box promo is Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge. That's right. And we've seen on these Planeswalkers now in this set, they have static abilities oh, that's so wild. at the top, which is really, really cool also. If you go play in the open house or draft weekend, you have a shot at getting Bolus' Citadel or Liliana's Triumph, which... A really cool full <sighs> art version of it. It's beautiful. Okay, also this card is absurdly powerful, and now we have access to it instead. 
standard, okay. And Friday Night Magic promos, Augur of Bolas, Paradise Druid, and Dovin's Veto, which I think is a very funny name for a car. Yes. Plus Planeswalker Weekend, which is uh, the story of War of the Spark centers on Planeswalkers, of course, and local stores can celebrate the stars of the show during Planeswalker Weekend, which is May 26th and May 27th, a variety of events, and you get a chance to get a time wipe, full art, and Karn's Bastion. Very cool. Yeah, so head down to your local game store and get your game on to get some of these cool cards. Grand Prix Calgary was this past weekend. It was modern. What? There was a Grand Prix? That's the appropriate reaction. Who knew? Anyway. <laughs> Attila Firth wins both the Grand Prix and the and the best name possible. <laughs> Congratulations, Attila. That's right. Um, they defeated Sam Pardee with Jund Breach. Jund Breach, I love what it. What an interesting deck we have here. Um, it has a whole bunch of uh, primeval titans, obviously. Yeah. One of our favorite things to through the breach. Um, and a bunch of spells to help get him out. So congratulations to Attila. Sweet deck taking down uh, the Grand Prix up north. Up next, Arena card styles and sleeves are now available on Arena. You can purchase individual card styles. Not every card has a style. It's a really cool uh, sort of 3D parallax art effect on the card. Yeah. And they're, they cost more for Mythics and cheaper and cheaper all the way down to Common. And you can buy bundles from the guilds as well. Yes. And those bundles come with really cool sleeves. Yes. That make little noises and effects when you uh, scroll so over cool. them. It's so cool. It's so cool. I love it. They look, they look really neat. And it's a really cool to see a new way to customize stuff in Arena, which isn't something yeah. that we've seen so far, really. And if you want to get your hands on some free versions of card styles, check out all of these preview codes right here. These are the ones that were released on packs. I don't know how long they'll be good for, maybe forever. I'm not sure, but uh, check them out. They're on your screen. And just type those into the store when it says redeem code and you can get some sweet card styles. Last up, we have Valor's Reach, a new mobile magic game that was announced. They've released a few of them where you could play some kind of magic adjacent game I'm going to refer to it as. Yes. And this one seems to be another one in that vein. You can play it vertically, which is kind of cool. You don't have to tilt your phone to the side to play. It's free to download. It's a collectible card game and deck customization. You can battle against other people. So I guess it's going to be kind of like a you know, a different access to play Magic on a little bit. That's right. Android users in the Nordic region are going to be able to try it out starting the week of March 25th. All right. Get a little preview look at it. So that's all the news from this past week that we tried to cram into 10 minutes. Did we do it? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when I edit this show. 